Yeah. All right. What you say? What you say? It's your host DJ Modi here from What You Say Radio, and this evening we got very, very special guests in the house here on What You Say Radio dropping by. I appreciate these brothers. These uh, group is Three T O B. They are the original members, band members of the group, the national sensation, national recording artist, the Tony, 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 y'all, in the house. Welcome in. Welcome in, fellas. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah one love, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, hey, again, what you, what you say, Radio, definitely thanks you for dropping by here to uh, talk to our listeners and, and uh, share just a little bit of your story. Um uh in in the music business uh can y'all tell us how a little bit how y'all got started okay um we got started and man we've been doing music all our life since we was like five years old that included um amar jubal carl antron Raphael, tim Dwayne. You know, we all was in different churches. We all started different churches. So, and um, myself and Raphael are first cousins. My mother, well, his mother and my father, brother, sisters, Antron Hale and Timothy Riley, parents are siblings. Okay. His mother and Tim's father is siblings. Carl was a, a neighbor of Raphael's at the age of five years old. So we've been knowing Carl since five. We we're going to point, uh, performing at his churches. Amar, Carl, and Raphael went to elementary, junior high. Well, Raphael and Amar went to elementary, junior high, and high school together. Okay. But by the time they got to high school, by the time they got to high school, uh, Carl and Tim came from far west and went to Castle Mount to join uh, Raphael and, and, and uh Raphael and Amar in a in a world renowned high school choir, the Castleers. So from that point on, they graduated. Raphael, Tim, and Carl went to go play with Sheila E. Uh huh. Okay. In like eighty five, like in the eighty six or eighty seven, then they did a um, recording. Well, I mean, Antron and Dwayne was playing in this group, local group called Destiny. We was their band. Okay. Amar at the time was um, cutting hair and, and 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 developing artists and and um, being all jacks of trades. And he did, he did a lot of important things that he don't speak of that he will share. And um, by the time eighty seven hit, we all formed together and put Tony 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 together. You know, doing local shows, showcases until we got picked up by Tommy and Denny, um, in Vogue Producers and Club Nouveau. Okay. Um, yeah. They, they signed the three of them um, to a production deal, uh -huh. Raphael, Tim, and Dwayne. And um, that's where it all began. Okay. That's what's up. And, and we got Tron. Tron just uh, checked in the building. How you doing? Can, can you hear us? Oh, uh, man. You know what? Uh-huh. You know what, man? I hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? We hear we hear you, Lima Charlie, loud and clear up in here. Thank 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 you for hey, joining. Uh, well, man, you know what I can say? I can say this here. I could be doing better, but I could be doing worse. Come so on. I'm happy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What you say? What you say? That's right. That's right. Again, Tron. Uh, thank you for joining us. 3TOB here in the house. We we just kicked off the interview. Elijah was uh just giving us a little background of how y'all all formed together, uh came together as a group, uh starting starting in elementary all the way up to high school and coming up. And so Elijah, take us into how Tony 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 came about. The name? The name, the name, yes. Man, the name is so stupid, but I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> um, they they did a they did a uh they did a wedding reception. This is hearsay, but it makes all the sense of the world. Um Dwayne used to wear relaxers in his hair. Him and his him and his good friend Terrence. And his look around, thought they like look, look like Italians, and they'd be in the mirror like, 
I look like my name should be Tony, 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 you know, the, 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 the little Italian name. So when they did the when they did the uh, wedding reception, they didn't have no name of the group. And Dwayne just blurted out Tony, Tony, Tony. And, and that's where the name came from. OK, OK. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you were explaining, uh, Elijah, you got two sets of cousins in the it was originally six, correct? Six members in the uh, Tony, Tony, Tony uh, band group. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Elijah and, yes. and Elijah and Raphael, y'all are cousins, and Tron and Tim are cousins, correct? First cousins, yeah. First cousins, first cousins. That's right, that's right. And uh, Amar, Amar, um, he was also a lead singer of the group as well, correct? Yeah, from 19, uh -huh. 1998 to 2018. Okay. All right, all right. There it is, a little right. a back, uh, background on Tony, 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 and how they came together. Um, and uh, but, but Amar was around, but Amar was around on our first tour in the beginning in 1988. He's a part of the um, wardrobe and um, Barbara. He 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 was around the whole time. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Definitely around. Yep. And Dwayne and Raphael are brothers. Dwayne and Raphael are brothers? Okay. Yeah, half, half, but they got the same, they got the same dad. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. They All both right. playing. Okay. Okay. Now, also, uh, let's take it back a little bit. We're going back here. Um, mm -hmm. as, a, as a DJ and as a DJ and a, 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 a fan of, Tony Tony music back in the day. I was I was younger. Of course, we were all younger. But hey, little Walter, was that the first one? Is that was that the first Tony Tony uh hit that actually brought y'all out? Because that's the one I remember. Yeah, that was, that was our first major hit. We put we put out a single that was horrible uh in '87 called, <laughs> called called One Night Stand. The shit was trash. But, uh, <laughs> but we, we but, but, but but we played it like. Like it was uh like the best thing. Ready for the like world. <laughs> like, like 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 it was old school, man. Yeah, like it was a, <laughs> like it was a smash, but it it, it really wasn't. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. You gotta believe. Hey, you gotta believe in yourself before somebody else believed, though. So I, I mean, we, we we didn't believe in that song on us, but we just we just performed it. They put I don't know why they put that shit out, but you know we we did what we could with it. Got us to the next level, that's for sure. That's it. That's it. Now let me ask you about hey uh little Walter. Did y'all think it would be did y'all think it would be such a big hit that it was? Let's see. I did. Oh. I, I it, it, had, it had all the elements. It was very commercial. And um I knew the choreography I put with it in that era that yeah, I, I had no doubt it was it was a hit. Because you know, when you record something, you 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 kind of know a hit record when you hear it and feel it. And um we was a lot more funky, but because they brought it and made it very commercial, yeah, I knew that the because that's when the, that's when hip hop was kind of taking over at the time. You know, Teddy Riley with the New Jack Swing and NWA. You know, so the, it started a shift in the way we was performing. We was on that Prince vibe, and our career would have been over real quick if we'd have stuck to our routine. So thank God they came in and, and made us commercial at the time with a little hip hop flavor. That's it. That's what's up. That's what's up. And uh, Elijah, for yeah, for, for for Tony, Tony, Tony fans out there, I'm pretty sure what I remember from that video, uh, Elijah, you were the dark skin brother with the, with the jerry curl, with a little sw uh, slope in the jerry curl. That, that was you, right? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was part of the struggle. We, we, we hit that thing, man. That thing right. Was, go, yeah. go, go, go. That, that, that's the accent. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there it is. And uh, also, we, we're going to talk a little bit about Tony, Tony, Tony. Now, you guys, um, at some point as a group, you you kind of broke up. Um, can you talk 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 to us a little bit about that and how that came about? What happened? What were the events that made that happen? And I try, you, you can start it off, and I, I tag from behind. Go ahead. Okay. Well, 
I think what happened was um, once we started doing our own production stuff on the side, the side of the Tonys, it's kind of like Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, right? Yeah. Once they, they, um, there was a part of the time and they, they wasn't getting a credit for being in the time. So what we was doing was we started just doing production stuff on the side. You know, we wasn't trying to be up front. Mm-hmm. Doing front guys. Okay. Want to take the light skin the guys? Okay. Yeah. It's all right. But uh, I think that what happened was uh, once we started doing our own production and everything, I think that kind of like, eh, I think it kind of threw a little loop in it. I don't know. Okay. Let me let me let me add to that. Yeah, um, Antron was only one doing. He was the only one out doing um, outside production at the time, and um, he gained he gained a little knowledge. And once he gained his knowledge, he'd bring it back to us and, and tell us, you know, what points were and you know what publishing kind of was because we didn't we didn't have no idea what it was and we still fully didn't understand it. So, but Tron met with execs and you know, you know, Tron wrote. I'm not gonna cry for you on the, on the first record. It, it didn't even get his credit for it, and um, so we was all naive and, and young and trusting at the time. So as things start going on, we started making hit records and doing a lot of shows and like being very successful, you know, nationwide, even worldwide. We went to Japan overseas, and you know, we was real respected and, and um, well received everywhere. So money started coming in that we didn't see, but we saw jewelry, we saw cars, we saw houses uh-huh. that the three was buying that we wasn't buying. Okay. And we was all under the same contract and we signed all the same um, record deal in 1989 because the three was signed to a production deal on the, on the Who album, the Lil' Walter album. Yeah. But the revival, the second album, all six of us got signed directly to the record company. Okay. But they treated the business as if it was just still the three. Gotcha. And us three, Carl, myself, and Antron, we was trusting, because it's like, that's our family, so anything, money come in, whatever come in, we trust that they're going to take care of us, too. Yeah. And, you know, they was already getting a, a higher percentage of Antron, Carl, and myself, so it was, there was no reason not to give us our portion, but we ain't never get our portion. And once we started um, inquiring about it, that's when we got fired because it brought tension. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much for uh, sharing that. Um, and without without going in too deep, because I want our listeners to go and check out Loyalty, No Loyalty, The Breakup, to, breakup of Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, it's a documentary, and you can go to YouTube and, and watch that 90-minute documentary. I encourage everyone to go check it out because these brothers go into very, uh, very great detail um, into the events of, of Tony Tony's uh, rise, uh, the breakup, and, and et cetera. So make sure you check that out, Loyalty, No Loyalty, the breakup of Tony 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 on YouTube. Um, can you uh? It's 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 loyal. It's loyalty, no royalty. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Loyalty, no royalty. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Elijah. On that. Um, check that no documentary out, y'all. Uh, Elijah. Uh, I, I think at the end, were you uh the one, the mastermind behind putting uh, as far as producing that uh that film, loyalty, no royalty. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, when I was when I was gone on my vacation, I wanted to do a movie because I, I was a big fan of Five Heartbeats. I always loved Five Heartbeats. Okay. And I like man. They need a they need a Millennium Five. They need a Millennium Five Heartbeats. And I'm like, Tony's would be the perfect Millennium Five Heartbeats story. But uh, I couldn't afford to do a movie at the time, so I said I'm gonna go and put a documentary together. And uh, man, I I just called 
Amar called Tron. And like remind you, I wasn't even in touch with Tron for like, man, 10 plus years because he was off doing his own production and doing whatever. We just, as grown men, we had to take care of our family. So we right. all kind of got like divided and, 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 and out of contact. Yeah. The love to never leave, but we just had to do what we had to do. And uh, so I called Carl and I called Jubal, all who was affected by the group. Yeah. And like I said, Amar, Amar was in a group longer than all of us consecutively. Like he was there 20 years straight. None of us was there 20 years straight. Not even Raphael, not even Tim, not even Dwayne. And, and, and Dwayne and, and Amar was the longest consisting two members of that group. Wow. So I felt it very necessary just to tell our stories. They were, they, they, me and Antron, we were pretty much, you know, let it out. They, they, they held some things back, but I, I hit them with some little trigger questions and get a little, get a little nerve to make them speak. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Couple, couple of things there trying to hold in. I, I said, oh, oh, you want to, you want to act shy, huh? I said, Ask him this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you watch the documentary, you'll see a whole body language change. Uh -huh. he, he still trying to be politically correct. He was, yeah, yeah. He was trying to be politically <laughs> Carl trying to be on the rail. I was uh -huh. like, oh, no, no, no. no. Uh -huh. I'm going to fix y'all. <laughs> right, right. I, I think- That's uh, funny. Elijah, again, I highly encourage. I'm going I'm to keep mentioning this throughout this interview. Loyalty, no royalty. The breakup of Tony, Tony, Tony. Check, check that documentary out. It's great. Uh, Elijah, well, all of you, I want to. I want. I just want to let you know that you know. Again, as a fan, as somebody that came up listening to Tony, Tony music, playing uh, Tony, Tony music, as a DJ that spins Tony, Tony, Tony music, you know, it kind of gave perspective to me uh, on the group because. From outside looking in, Tony, 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 to me, the image was always Raphael, Tim, and just Dwayne. Just those three. Absolutely. So what the yeah. docu so what the documentary was able to do was highlight and bring out the other side, the other side of the group that we we may not or I didn't realize, you know. Go ahead, Elijah. You know it's you know what's strange about that? How you just named the three? Uh -huh. I don't know why it is, but we all say naturally in that order, Raphael, Tim, and Dwayne. <laughs> we always say it in that order, and you can really say it in any order. Right. But it all it, it should be like Raphael, Dwayne, and Tim. But uh -huh. for some strange <laughs> reason, it's always Raphael, Tim, and Dwayne. Wow. That's crazy you said that. It is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's 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 that's, that's crazy, bro, for real. Like, because you didn't have to say it in that order. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. And, and Tron, <laughs> Tron, again, loyalty, no royalty. Tron, I, I love your story. Uh, that was a great job on y'all uh, sh sharing your story, your trials and tribulations that you that that you went through yeah. and, and God brought you through. C can you talk talk to, talk to them yeah. just a little bit? I want them to go watch the documentary, but can you talk to us about your your journey just a little bit? Well, <clears throat> my story is going to be different than everyone else's, but. At the same time, mm -hmm. we started group together, mm -hmm. and when when it was no money, we started this group. We play rehearsals, no money, mm -hmm. but we are rehearsing every five days out of the week at least. Uh, uh, am I right, Lige? I'm, I'm... You right? Tell your story. Yeah, you right. And, and 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 so, you know, and Amar was always there. He was there at the dock of the bay. He was there at everything, you know. And I, I, I'm like, I'm still going through my story, even to this day, because of what was done wrong. Yeah. But I. I still love them all. You know what I'm saying? Like me and Elijah, we might not have talked for 10 years, 
but Elijah has been in my heart because I've been playing with Elijah in the band since the what ninth ninth grade, Lodge? Yes. Since the ninth grade. Yes. So it's like my story is like, you know, I don't want to have a pity party story. Yes. But it's been really hard. And it's hard on me now, but you know what though? God is good. All the and time. I'm gonna keep on pushing. I'm gonna keep on pushing. Yes, sir. Elijah's is pushing. Yes, sir. Amar's pushing. Yes, sir. Jubal's pushing, and we got Rev that's pushing. Yeah. And that's a that's a that's a hard gumbo there to uh to mix with. Yeah. Yeah. Man. You know. Absolutely. So I. So so it's like when I'm I'm only telling a portion of my story when I speak on that because everybody has to tell their side of it. Mm. But uh the suffering I went through and the way God brought me out and how he's still bringing me out, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm blessed. So I'm not gonna be mad. Yes. You know I'm. I I, I I I I okay. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I get frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I snap. Be like, you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time. The love I have for my brothers and and what we went through and how we went through it and came out of it, man, it's like uh uh Shaq Shaq uh, uh what's his name? Shaq Rack, me Shaq and the Bendigo. It's like we went through that fire. Yeah. It was hot too. Because we was mad. Yeah. Yeah. We was upset. And, but through all that, because the, the only thing I see what they did was try to separate even every one of us. They tried to separate the money. They tried to separate our love ties, mm. our friendship. Mm-hmm. Man, and, and it was wrong, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit up here and just and to just talk to talk. I'm gonna walk it like I talk. I know who my brothers are. Shoes. I love my band members better than I love my own family. Wow. Wow. Again, thank thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Tron. Um <clears throat> Again, Tony, 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 loyal, loyalty, no royalty. The documentary, y'all got to check that out. You got to go to YouTube and and, and see the story uh, behind Tony, Tony, Tony. Now, can you talk to us, uh, Elijah, a little bit about uh, the plans to try to to get a, a series or movie series, uh, docu series going on that? Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Well, I've just been, you know, meeting with different directors and film studios and just trying to find the best offer that um, come across the table. Um, I'm let everybody see, you know, we got over a million views organically, no promotion. So that lets them know that somebody want to see this movie, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I'm just waiting for the the, um, the right deal to come through so I could compensate myself and the guys in the group, and we can, you know, get that story out. Okay. All right. And uh, just just so just so our listeners know, ultimately, and you mentioned a lot of uh, things. We're going into without going into all the details. Do you think it? Do you think it was uh, besides money, of course, because money is the root of all evil. Uh, do you think ego ego had a lot to do with it as far as the breakup of, of the group? 
I, I will explain exactly what it because I know now. And one more shot, I want to give our shot to Chris and Erica Perkins. They they co-directed and co-produced that uh, documentary with myself. So Chris Perkins and Erica um, Perkins, a husband and wife, they um helped me uh, edit that video. It was it was grueling too, and they they did a wonderful job. So I want to mention them also. So what broke up the group, man? I don't even think it was money, bro. Um, because there was no reason for money to break it up. So I do believe that um, it was envy. And you wouldn't want to believe that it's envy, but the different shoes and boots I had on my neck the whole time in a group, and I never understood why. Like I explained in the documentary, Raphael them didn't let me play the bass as if I wasn't good enough. He learned music coming to my house, my family house. Now, he took it more serious than I did because I had a personality and I was an athlete and I was a knucklehead. So it, I just had a gift. Yeah. But he took more of an all-in approach to it where I just let it fall where it fell, you know? Uh -huh. So um, people think, we gravitated to him. We was already doing this before he even picked up an instrument. My, I came out the, I came out the womb singing and and and, and uh, <laughs> performing with my father. My father is a singer and and a great dancer. So I got all that from him. So I noticed, in humbly speaking, I have a strong, good personality. Like people gravitate to me because you know I'm always human, always cracking the joke, whatever the case may be. And as I sat there and pondered all these years like damn why is um this happening I don't want to believe but I ran out of options man they had the money they were sitting in the front they had everything it always tried to push us down as far as they could but they couldn't break me they yeah. couldn't break Tron they couldn't Jubal they couldn't break Carl they couldn't break Amar but they always found a way to just keep on y'all down here and <laughs> right. up here. Yeah. But we used to always spring up like a jack in the box, <laughs> no matter what they did. So uh -huh. people, I'm not going to say that, but people could be envious of a person's energy. Yeah. Because we yeah. didn't have more money than them. Right. We wasn't in the front. Oh, they were definitely, they were definitely large. If I could speak on that, they were definitely jealous of folks' energy. You always, yes. you always, you always had a certain je ne sais quoi about yourself. That's why you was, you know, you came out with the um, um, Elijah Javon, uh, say it, Javon Bourgeois Baker. No, 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 no. Uh, hey, hey, if you look, Elijah, if, 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 Elijah, Elijah Javon Bourgeois Baker. Yeah, man, you say my name right, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Elijah, 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 Elijah Javon Bourgeois Baker. But, you know, <laughs> okay, so I, so, you know, so, so, so the trip part about it, I had a, I had a, a clique and a crew in, in Oakland, California called the GQ Crew and the hold Sexy on, Dancers. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, oh, let me, let me. Amar, let me no, let me no, alley you. No. Let me throw you alley you real quick, Amar. Let me throw you alley you. Okay, because I would just go. I, okay, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Was, sure. okay. Listen, listen. Amar, his brother Cornell. Okay. Yeah. They was the two dressing icon, uh, local celebrities in the neighborhood of all High East Oakland. Okay. Raphael yeah. and Amar was childhood best friends. Raphael used to always be over. Amar and Cornell Goss house. I mean, that household was very opinionated. They wasn't breaking <laughs> for nothing. They wasn't no fire. You know what I'm saying? They were strong money and they had, man, they just had, they just had control. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Everybody, everybody but me, because I was strong minded like that, but I always had love for them. And I used to always. I witnessed what they had going on. Man, they had some type of control of the house. They said they grab up a house, and man, when I tell you, you couldn't even believe all the people used to go, and they grab up was mean, boy. She didn't play. She uh -huh. didn't play. No <laughs> way. But they was still me. I'm like, man, grab a hell of me. I ain't going over there. She had a man. <laughs> but everybody else, they are sneaking. Yeah. Cornell and Will for their clothes, for their vibe. <laughs> 
for the girls they got come over there. And Raphael Zadik was one of them. Now go ahead, Amos. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, and, you know, Amos Mark. May I say something, please? May I? I I'm not trying to interrupt Amos. Well, you just did. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you just did. But go I, ahead. I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Now, can I speak now? Go ahead, After Tron. I apologize. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, Elijah was bringing up envy, right? And people think jealousy and envy is, is, is the same thing, and it's not. See, this is what jealousy is. Jealousy is like, you know what? He has a nice car. You know, I would like a car like that. Envy is, you know what? He got that nice car. I want him to lose that car, lose that house, and I want to have it. Come on. That's what envy is. Speak on it, Tron. Okay, now. Go ahead and retard, anymore. I'm sorry. I just it's all good. No, it's all good. I, I appreciate that. So you know, um, Lodge was absolutely right, man. And 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 kind of like what I was alluding to was, um, we did we we started so many trends in the in the Bay with our with our group, GQ Crew, and the Sexy Dancers, and we and, and then we merged and and we were called GQ Sexy. But Elijah, when when you when you're talking about that jealousy and envy and, and just having that je ne sais quoi. Although Elijah wasn't part of the GQ crew, he still had, he was still known for his dancing. And and, and that's what our crew was known for, for dancing and dressing. Um, Elijah still had a couple a couple cats that he was rocking with and they, they, they do their little performance dance stuff and choreography. And when you have that kind of vibe about yourself where you don't have to be the star. You don't have to be the main person, the, 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 the focal point or whatever. And you still get just as much love from the people um, around you, um, females and all that kind of stuff like that. That's where that jealousy and envy come in because you're wondering, what are you doing or how are you able to be in the same location that I am? And I think that's what happened with um, cats in the group at times because folks weren't the, the main three. Folks mm. weren't the main three, three, but the things about us made other people want to be around us. And man, when you have that, that's what um, that's what kind of gets people's goat. It don't even matter about how much money you have or none of that, because I would, I would, I would show up in certain cities or states and folks would be like, what you doing here? Uh -huh. How you get here? What you doing? I mean, who who you here with? Be like, bro, I'm in the building. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'm in the building. So, yeah. man, um, that whole journey and that whole experience, rocking with uh, Raphael, Dwayne, and Tim, or Raphael, Tim, and Dwayne, however way you order you want to put it. Um, yeah, we have some rocky times, but man, it's a beautiful experience because you don't get to where you are today without going through what you went through in the past. And what we have right now is so beautiful. And the music that we're getting ready to hit you guys with, um, it's going to be a beautiful situation. And then and then the performance side of it and, and the musicianship of it, it's going to be beautiful, man. And everything that folks try to hold back, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we get to showcase it because we are front and center and God, God or God always finds a way to take you from the pit to the palace. If you just stay faithful. Amen. That's right. That's right. What you say, I need, what you I, I say. need to elaborate. I need to, I need to elaborate on. Hey, this is DJ MOD. What you say radio. And we are back. We are back here with the exclusive interview mm -hmm. with three T O B the original band members of the, the national recording artist, the superstar, the super sensational. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but that's Tony, 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 y'all. Hey, the original band members. <laughs> hey, Elijah, Elijah, you were saying, you were saying. Yeah, let me elaborate. 
A bar now and, and, and the GQ crew was so popular in, in high school, they had everybody they, they was the first ones to wear box cuts. Like, you know, we was a Jerry Curl, so we we thought that shit was funny. Like, oh look at these little racer heads, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they started all the most popular, notorious drug dealers wearing high tops. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about the top of the top. You uh -huh. feel me? So yeah. they had this type of following, man. Like there was celebrities in high school. Yeah. And man, I had I had a band slash dance group called Spicy in, in the Die Hearts. We were spicy as the band. We was Die Hearts on the dance floor. Because all of us used to go to clubs in high school <laughs> on the weekend, Stargaze, Palladium, and just be dancing yeah. all night. And uh, but but the A Mart and GQ crew, man, they had all the girls. They, they was like new addition, bro. Like okay. how, <laughs> they, they was like local new addition. So I wouldn't I wouldn't join them because I'm I'm rebellious like that. But we are close friends, but at the same yeah, time for sure. we, we battle it though. You know, so I was like, one day we had a, a special day out on the green. A Mart already graduated and it moved on. But they had a bad habit of recruiting everybody. Not everybody. They were recruiting people who couldn't dance as good, but had a little dress code. Uh -huh. But because of dancing, everybody mm -hmm. couldn't dance, but everybody could dress. So one day, um, my boy GQ Nooney, he was there in corn. They was repping, and they 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 had a whole bunch of other imposters, right? <laughs> yeah, but they challenged us to dance off in front of the whole school, and these dudes rehearsal like a group, man. They, yeah. they, <laughs> and man, I was scared to death. It was just me and my boy James. I was scared to death, but I wasn't no sucker though. Uh -huh. I was like, yeah, let's do it. But all in all, man, I'm, I'm I got bubble guts. <laughs> 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 this, is of, this, this is the GQ crew, but I'm telling you, bro, they uh, was way up here. Uh, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> All the baddest girls. It, it was either grown men had them or GQ crew had them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, wasn't no, it wasn't no in between. And yeah. I ain't talking about just my school. I'm talking about the whole sophisticated Oakland. They had Oakland High presentations. Holy name. Skyline. St. Elizabeth. Man. Skyline. Wow. Man, man. Yeah, we man. had them. Man, they had all the so much so, so much. Hold on, real, real quick. So much so there are there are uh, some NBA players. They're wives. Um, I won't I won't divulge. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't do that. No, we don't want to get nobody. In yeah, <laughs> right. So, so that, that's how, that's how good they had it. So okay. anyway, so they. they they had their B team, you know, Amar and, and Amar, what's your guy name from Berkeley High who was y'all top dog too and the sexy dancer? What are you talking about? John Dokes? Yeah, John Dokes. Yeah, yeah, it's a skyliner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they didn't have all they 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 main guys there. So they had their Conrads. And um, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. Man, I was scared to death. So they they bust a couple of moves and the girls are naturally with them, but a couple of their Conrads would hit the steps right. I was like, oh, yeah, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, we got him. I, 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 told my, I told my boy James B, I said, just follow my steps. Uh -huh. Whatever I call, I'll just do. So <laughs> I'm not going to give no credit that we beat GQ crew because we beat the we beat the we beat the um the comrades. We didn't beat GQ crew. It's good okay. sexy boys. We did not. <laughs> but we beat the comrades. But by beating the comrades, that yeah. made us super duper popular because it was attached to that name. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's how big, bro, that's how big they were. Wow. So he they been a star. And, and, and before that, Amar was singing like Michael Jackson and dancing like Michael Jackson. Okay. Okay. And Raphael, my brother, uh Levi and myself uh -huh. was the band playing behind Amar. If he wasn't doing that, he was rapping rapper delight and we was winning gong shows. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Before Tony, Tony, Tony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, That's a how that go. Hey, Mar, you were you were able to touch a little bit about uh, 3TOB and, and, and what y'all have 
uh, forthcoming. Can you talk to us a little bit about 3TOB? Yeah, most definitely. Well, again, 3TOB um, is comprised of uh, Antron, Elijah, Jubu, and Carl Wheeler and myself, mm -hmm. um, all former members of Tony, Tony, Tony. Mm -hmm. And um, once we decided to put this documentary and everything out, you know, we, we were kind of talking about, well, man, you know, once we put this out, man, people are going to want to really hear and know the story. And we might as well... Um, get in the studio and just and just bring them a whole package so so once we did the documentary we ended up doing a song we you know it's like okay we need a song um to put in the documentary so we ended up coming up with the song that you hear at the very end of the um documentary trading places okay and once we came up with that we were like oh my god man the magic is here the magic is here so we just so, so we got serious about it Okay. And, um, and you know, although everybody was doing, you know, different projects and different things, Jubu still plays with Frankie Beverly and Maze. Carl runs his studio and he has a uh, a hefty clientele that comes through on a regular basis. Um, Antron is doing production on the side. Um, Elijah's running Ambitious Records. Um, and he has uh, some great artists on that, on that, on that um, label, as well as himself. And and so everybody was just kind of doing separate things, and I was doing some solo stuff. But we just really decided to really just decide to um, come together and say, "Listen, man, we need to capitalize on what we're speaking on and doing from the from the documentary." And so three TLB had we actually completed the EP, but then while we were waiting to get paperwork done and all that other kind of stuff, Elijah hit me and was like, "Man, we're not done. We're not done, bro. We we you know." there's some other stuff we need to put on this project. And I felt that way too. Okay. But I felt like what we had, I felt like what we had was cool enough, but cool enough is not going to always be enough, mm. just being cool enough. So um, Elijah, you know, he had said, Hey man, I got this other joint that I've been working on in the past. He shot that over to me at another idea. Then he heard something else from our partners, Steve Russell from true. And, um, True, and then and then, and then uh, Steve was like, "Yo, man, take that joint. It's, it's it's nowhere. It's and it was like a little instrumental. So, Elijah got in the lab, you know, Jubu, and worked it out, and um, and then um, presented another joint. And so now we got it. You know, we went back in the lab, laid some background vocals and ideas. Now, so man, three TLB is getting ready to hit you guys with a full length project. We're getting ready to do." Our official, our official, we just got booked for our official first show um, coming up. Um, we're getting ready to do, and then right after that show, we got another show that we're going to be uh, presenting to the people. It's kind of like a record release party and show okay. um, at, at a famous spot in Oakland called Yoshi's. And um, we're really getting ready to hit you with the merchandise, the new project. And man, it's it's going to be a, an outstanding project, man. If I have to say so myself, it it really is. That's what's up. That's what's up. And is that going to be released on uh your label there, uh, Elijah uh, Ambitious Records? No, we merged we merged together and got our own label. All um five members on uh tell them the name of it, Amar. Uh, three T O B Music and Entertainment Company. Okay. Um. So we went and, you know, we went and did all the paperwork, got everything straight, got the, got the percentages and everything looking lovely. Okay. And, um, and we're just about to do it the way it's supposed to be done, man. It's not about one person being, being, being this or that, or this person being this and that. Yeah. We understand, man, that we're, that, that we're stronger together. That's we're right. We're stronger together. You know, we can definitely do things on our own and we have, but man, I enjoy being around Elijah. I enjoy being around Trine. I like being around Carl and Jubal. So therefore, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't uh, it wasn't rocket science. You know, the only thing that I thought about at first was like, man, I would do I really want to deal with is not the people, but do I really want to deal with being in a group situation again? Because being in the Tonys for 20, 20 years, but really twenty plus years, because I've been there from the very beginning. But um, Mm -hmm. But seeing that 
our chemistry is cool, how we work and how we get down, it's a no brainer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, my, my thing was too, like, Amar always got compared to Rafael Sadiq, and truly, he really doesn't sound like Rafael Sadiq. He, he's, he saw 2020 20, 20 songs very well and precise, and they got the same kind of tone, but he have his own style. And for some reason, speaking of envy, Dwayne yeah. has never, get, in the 20 years span Rafael's group, they've been doing shows. There was no reason for them not to go in the studio and record something with Amar. Just like when the, when Lionel Richie left the Commodores, they brought the new guy. I don't even know his name, but they made a hit night nice shift. Yeah, which gave them a whole nother light with yeah. the new guy. Yeah, yeah. The Tony 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 was going to do the same thing with Amar. Yeah, just on the strength yeah. of him being there. But for some reason, they didn't do that because they didn't probably want to give him any type of power. You understand a recognition. Right. I ain't say that's the case, but on the outside, looking at the guest, uh, I would yeah. say that it does. It doesn't make no sense why you didn't. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, in the documentary, uh, I like at the end, uh, Elijah, when you, you know, this was this. There's plenty of touching moments in it, but but you you said something key at the end that you were going to, you know, fight for, you know, what, what's rightfully yours. You know, because y'all were valuable members to to the group. And again, if you if you're on the outside looking in, uh, like myself, you know, Tony, 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 the image, you just seen those three. But you listen, you listen to the or you watch the documentary, loyalty, no royalty. You understand, and you will see that you guys were value, just as valuable, if not, you know, more. Uh, to Tony, Tony, Tony's success, and I like the way you mentioned that you, you're going to fight, continue to fight for what's you know rightfully yours for your legacy. Can you can you expand on that just a little bit for the people? Yeah, be yes, because if if Tony Tony's sequence was like the OJ's, like if if Raphael Tim and Wayne was singing by themselves, performing up front by themselves, and we was behind them, yeah, I'd be like, okay, you're right. Yeah. But Tim is a drummer. Yeah. Du Dwayne is a good top player. Ruff L is a lead singer. Uh, I'm the bass player. So in concert, if you wanna you group it, it'd be Dwayne uh Ruff in the middle, I'm on the right, Dwayne on the left. That's the front three in uh -huh. concert. Uh-huh. Tim is on the drums, they don't even know who Tim is when we're doing live, like, right? because he's a drummer, he's way in the back. Uh -huh. Carl and Carl and Antron is doing more performing and more noticeable than Tim is because Tim is just a drummer. Mm -hmm. Tim don't sing. He can write and produce. He, Tim play keyboards well as as good as he play drums. And but nobody know that shit gossip. Yeah. So they see us three. So that was an argument. We was a, a sequence format band. It yeah. wasn't no group. We was a band without. This three, you couldn't have them three perform. It had to be all six. Yeah. So yeah. that was the difference. Can, can yeah. you can you can y'all can y'all kind of uh talk to me a little bit about for from me watching the documentary again? I'm gonna keep saying it. Loyalty, no royalty. Make sure y'all check it out. Uh the breakup of the Tony Tony Tony. To me, it seemed watching the documentary that Dwayne was the was the mastermind behind Tony, 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 and everything went through him. Why? Why is that? Can you can you talk a little bit about that? He was not the mastermind. Dwayne was the oldest. Mm -hmm. He was the oldest, and he had more seniority as being a grown man when everybody else was pretty much kids. Mm -hmm. And Rafael idolized Dwayne. He was the only one idolized Dwayne. Like, we respect Dwayne because of Raphael, but Raphael had Dwayne up like Prince of some goddamn body. And us, we was like, nigga ain't no Prince. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Raphael had that much love for Dwayne, much love and respect for Dwayne. But um, if anybody is responsible for putting that group together, it's going to be Raphael because we all his peers and all in his era, you know, okay. Dwayne probably six to eight years older than all of us. So, Damn. I, I Damn. try, let me finish. Our uh, generation was was all together in some form or fashion. 
Okay. So, um, yeah, Dwayne is responsible for making up the name of the group. That's where his credit lies. Okay. So he made it. He made up Tony, Tony, Tony. Can't take that from him. He created that stupid ass name. <laughs> Dwayne did that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, He's solely responsible for that stupid ass thing. <laughs> but it worked. But it worked. <laughs> it worked, yeah. Because the music, man, you can call yourself the doodle kids. So you got hit. It don't matter. <laughs> Go ahead, Tron. Um, well, I could say this here. I don't even because the Dwayne hasn't had an original idea in his life to me. Mm-hmm. Even when he played his guitar lines. He's not playing Dwayne lines. Um, I'm not going to speak on it mm-hmm. right now because, of, you know, our our case. Uh-huh. But I, I think that, uh, and I think he's right. Somebody else came up with that name. Mm. Mm. But I just don't want to say his name. Yeah, yeah. But but after this case is done, oh, I'm saying everything. I hear you. There it is. Now I just want I just want to be fair. Uh, have have they put out any side of their story? Because everybody you know has, has their story to tell. Have have either of them put out their their story that that y'all know of? Man, they they, they are more than welcome. We 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 invite them to. <laughs> Like, please, please <laughs> tell y'all story and try to tell be honest. The only way they can be honest if their story is the same as ours. If they story not the same as ours, they'll fucking lie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we welcome them to tell their story, but they won't do it. They smart. I'm gonna give them that. And listen, man, we was all mad at one time. Listen, man, we got so much good time with them dudes, like. I naturally love them, but when you take money from our kids, bro, like, yeah. I, I, I don't get no pleasure in hearing my music. Now, I can humbly say, we all can humbly say that we are truly legends. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can all humbly say that we truly legends in the business, mm-hmm. but to hear our music oh, on the yes. radio mm-hmm. you know, and don't make no money off of that, man, it's and, and our kids not weeping the benefits. Like we will make more money together now than we did back in the day because everybody's starving for the 90 sound. Yeah. But I've been trying to fight for that since 2012 and I gave up around 2018. But um it just let me know they didn't want to see us with no money. Because that would have it wouldn't even been no documentary had they said, come on, let's get back together, pay more. You, you did your thing. You stay here. I sing some songs. You sing some songs. Let's get this money. Raphael could have still been doing his own thing. We could have still been doing our own thing, but still making over a million dollars each touring. Or at least, a, let's say realistically, a quarter million to to 500 to, to a million, depending on how they put us the proceeds with the merchandise. or But touring alone, we yeah. all could have been made over a quarter million dollars. Yeah. Wow. Wow. They don't want to see us with that. They don't want to see us with that. Because yeah. if they did, so 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 you telling me you don't care about our kids. Now I look at you in a whole different light now. Yeah. Like I don't even choose, I don't even want to be back in Tony Tony Tony. Mm. No matter how much money, because I couldn't look at them dudes the same no more. Yeah. And although I respect them and I still love them, like right now, if we was all in the same room right now, angry and all the animals got. I could tell one joke and all six of us gonna laugh because we had that much, all eight of us, we had that much fun and memory and so much laughter. Mm -hmm. We gonna forget about the present because that one moment or two, three, five, ten, hundred moments is still funniest to to us today. Yeah. That's Mm -hmm. the type of inner bond we truly have. So that's what keeps me from hating them, not hating them. Like Uh I can't hate them because I know, like, what it really was at once upon a time. Uh-huh. But I don't I don't I don't care to um be with them in a the group no more because they don't give a damn about my kids and trying yeah. kids, Amar kids, Jubal kids, Carl kids. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Amar? What was that? Yeah, time? man. Um, I mean, now that just that that basically sums it up, man. I mean, it's like it's like you don't care what people have contributed um to your success, you know, and we're not talking about some bandwagoners. Some mm. people that just came up off the street and latched on and this is that. No, man, you're talking about folks that are like your real family, man. Your real family, you know, coming over your mama's house and can dang there just walk in the front door and just go in the kitchen and eat and sit down and chill, be over there all day long and hang. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That that ain't that ain't no uh just a friend dropping by. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's family. So, so yeah, man. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not even about being mad or being angry right now, because as I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on this. As long as God continues to give us the gift and the breath of life and the ability to do what we do, and God has given us the gifts and the talents to do what we need to do, can do, want to do, or whatever, mm-hmm. then we're going to do it then we're going to do it, man. And so at the end of the day, the business is going to take care of the business when, when all that other stuff is out the way. Yeah. But that's not going to stop us from doing what we need to do right now. And so it's, and so the journey is beautiful. The journey is beautiful, man. You know, and, and like Lodge said, man, I don't care to really just be all up in folks' presence, but I ain't mad at nobody right now. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad, man. I ain't got time to be mad at you, right. bro. Yeah. 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 And before before we get out of here, before we cut this uh uh interview, I do a three word challenge here uh uh on my interview. Okay. So I'm gonna give y'all three words and y'all give me the first thing to come to your heart, to your mind, to your soul when I give you the word. All right. <clears throat> first yeah. one the first word is Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Boy, Boy hater. Haters, oh, haters, haters just jumped in my in my brain. All haters. right, greedy. <laughs> no. Haters. All right, we got haters. We got greed. <laughs> you got phony, phony, phony. What was that, Tron? <laughs> phony, phony, phony. Oh, all right. <laughs> there because it is. without without us, it would not have been none of them. Period. Wow. From wow. Amar on up. And, and, and before I go us, to, go ahead. Sorry about that, Tron. Go ahead. But, but I'm talking about from the beginning on. Uh, there would not have been who would have been playing. Yeah. Well, well you know, Tron. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. But Tron, just answer the question right quick, so we can yeah, really? go. So just, yeah. so just One whatever, word, whatever, whatever word, whatever word pops into your mind after he gives us a word. State that so we can rock okay. and roll, baby. Okay, then phone me. Okay. Got it. Got it. That. Got it. Second word, money. Um <laughs> none. I have none. <laughs> About to get it. <laughs> About to get it. Okay. Gotta get it. Try. Lack of. Lack of. <laughs> that was none, <laughs> none about to get it and lack of. And lack of, yeah. Three good words. Three good words for that one word, money. And, and my my last word is my last word is legacy. Us. Hey Mark. Yeah, us. Us for sure. Tron. Three T, three T O B on mine, baby. Three there you T-O-B. go. That's good with yeah. There, there it is. The three word challenge. Appreciate y'all uh, participating in that. And I'm glad. Who was it? Amar. I think one of y'all mentioned. It's actually not six, but eight members. Because you got Jubu and uh, Carl, right? The preacher. The other two. And, and, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Them two missing out of the. It's, well, it would be, it would be, uh, yeah, that, that'd make eight. Eight. Amar, eight. Amar, yeah. Amar, 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 Am
Because I was watching a documentary last night. I was like, okay, well, six. No, there's, there's actually eight of them. So, yeah, there it is. So where can... Six, six was that. Six was signed, six was signed to the contract. That's why you got that six number in your head. Ah, got you. Got it. Got it. Right. All right. So 3TOB, do y'all got music out there? What can listeners, where can they uh go and purchase purchase your music? Because they can still... Well, go ahead. I'm going to let y'all speak on that. Y'all got music hey, out there? Amar got that. He, he, he... A- Amar, better spokesman. Go ahead, Amar. Um, yeah, 3TLB, man, we have music. So um, Jubu, um, Legally Blind, um, our guitar player, has music, solo stuff out there. Elijah uh, Baker has um, his funk album that's out there, um, along with his Park Avenue project. Um, Antron has produced a bunch of um, artists, um, hip-hop artists, and so he has music out there. I have solo music that is that's out there as well but as a collective three tlb yeah we have trading places never gonna give you up uh we have the remake of um golden time of day because jubu is featured on golden time of day when he's out with frankie and so since and and so since he was featured on that and frankie features him we did we decided to do a remake of that uh, we called in our boy David Hollister to come do the vocals. Okay. And um, and so that's out there all up on iTunes, Spotify, and everything. And then we and then we also did a remake of This Christmas, Donnie Hathaway's This Christmas. Nice. And um, that's out. And, man, people absolutely love that. Um, but that's out. So, yeah, man, we have music on those platforms, on, on all platforms. Um, the music will be on our website, which all that stuff will be up soon. Um, and then the whole project is coming out. The completed project will, will be out in December. Um, so we just ask folks to just, uh, stay tuned. We got, um, Instagram, we got the three TOB, um, page on Instagram. Um, Elijah Baker is on Instagram. Amar Khalil is on Instagram. Um, Antron Ice Cream Hell is on Instagram. We're all on Facebook, okay. Twitter. Um, yeah, man, you can find us. You can, they can find us. Thank you, thank you for uh, sharing that because that's the next place I was gonna go with social media. So appreciate you uh, uh, dropping that as well. Um, again, loyalty, no royalty. The breakup of Tony, Tony, Tony. Make sure. Make sure I encourage y'all, man. It's an hour and a half documentary, and you, you, I promise you, you'll enjoy it. You'll get a whole new perspective about Tony, 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 the the group, the the as I said uh, earlier, super sensational. I just made something up. Super sensational, Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, y'all check out that documentary. Mm-hmm. Loyalty, no royalty. The breakup of Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, fellas, Elijah, Antron, Amar, uh, D. Can y'all leave our, our listeners each with uh, some words of encouragement on your way on your way out? My words of encouragement is if you're serious about doing anything in life, never give up. Most definitely. And I would have to say um, faith. Faith. Uh, God says all you have to have is the faith the size of a mustard seed. Mm. That's all that is required to move a mountain. Mm. And most people think he's talking about moving a little mountain, but it is the mountains in your life. It is the mountains and everybody's mountain is a different size. And so stay faithful, stay faithful, stay faithful, stay focused. And it'll happen for you mm. because um, faith is the substance um, of things hoped for, but the things, but um, hoped for, and 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 of the things that aren't seen, but are to come. So we there, Absolutely. and they about to see it with three TLB. That's what's up, Tron. You know, I love when Amar go on that path. I really do. Because it brings me back to Psalms 23, when God says, well, well, not God says, but 
He says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Mm -hmm. That means I shall not want for anything. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And if That's he's right. your, what you wanting for? It's there for you to have it. So have faith, like AMR said. Don't be afraid. You can't be scared in this business. You cannot be afraid. Oh. I don't know. I haven't been afraid since I joined the Die Hearts. Indeed. That's a good word. Yes, sir. There you have it. 3TOB, original members of the band, the group, Tony, Tony, Tony here on What You Say Radio. Fellas, I appreciate y'all time. Thank y'all for coming on here, sharing. Yeah, thank you. Yes, absolutely. For sharing part of y'all's yeah. story, man. Uh, appreciate everything y'all have done, everything y'all contributed to the music business. Keep making the good music and uh, God bless you on y'all yeah. endeavors and everything y'all got going on. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Love. Appreciate you.